So t tell me a little bit about 20 as a vintage in terms of the, the growing season and... 20 was um, a very um, uh, reposant uh, year. Uh, a year um, relaxing? Relaxing year for us and for the vines because uh, the water um, uh, process during the year was natural water, of, of course, uh, from the rain, was there at the good time. It was not too hot. It was a perfect uh, ripening uh, uh, at the end of uh, summer, you know, uh, preparing for, for the harvest. Uh, we started the harvest not too early. Uh, it was probably about uh, the end of August or beginning of September. And especially for this uh, wine here, it was a bit later, uh, September 15th or something, you know, waiting for the Mauvais to ripe properly. And then it was very relaxing for us as well because um, with such uh, a vintage, you don't have to uh, you don't have to to ask yourself, my God, what am I gonna harvest tomorrow? How do I will uh, organize the harvest between? Because we have a lot of plots here, you know. Uh, it's a bit like a, a Rubik's cube, you know. <laughs> so it's not so easy to uh, to to know exactly uh, what, what what which uh, which plot you, will you do after another one, etc. To build the day uh, tank, you know, because uh, one day is one tank. So, um, so we have to blend different uh, plots and everything. And in 2020, it was easy, you know, it's ripe. Okay, let's harvest, go for it, you know. And um, as a matter of fact, it was again relaxing for malolactic, for the aging, for the bottling. And now the wine is, uh, it was bottled uh, less than six months ago. And the wine is already uh, starting to, to show up uh, greatly. And it's, um, it's great. Some people uh, in France, sometimes they are afraid about Mourvet because uh, they think it's a wine that uh, you have to age a long time in the cellar before you start to open the bottle. But nowadays it's not, it's not the case. Um, this kind of wine, it's a very long aging wine, but it's a wine that you can open uh, all the time. It's, it's delicious and you can, to, you can start today. Uh, early and you can wait uh, this one is going to last for 20 years yeah um, but it's amazing to see as uh, i remember i was in um, uh, comment dire, uh, internship you know in mm -hmm. chateau cheval blanc in bordeaux internship yeah internship and uh, at that time the owner uh, uh, was saying uh, you know uh, a great wine is good right at the beginning and I, I believe that very much, you know, uh, you don't have to hide a wine uh, when it's young. When it's, when it's good, it has to be good directly. And it can last for uh, ages. Thank you, Eric. Well, the 2020, uh, we're, we're going to enjoy, enjoy it now, but I, it, it, it's, it's definitely got a big future yeah. ahead of it. So. Yeah, the one has, uh, well, that is um, able to, to give a kind of uh, sex appeal, I would say, um, the wine, uh, a kind of, yeah, licorice. I, I, I forgot licorice as well, uh, which is quite, it's not sexy, it's kind of sex appeal, you know, something attractive. Um, it's, a, it's a very noble quality and, and find it in some with some a lot of great the great red wines of the world <laughs> it's good thank you eric eric de saint victor chateau de pibernal thank, thank you, you. David.